Hey, brothers and sisters. This is a newsletter entitled God's Prophetic Plan for Israel is Evident by Evangelist Mike Gendron. Prophecy is being observed. The prophetic time clock started ticking again when Israel became a sovereign nation in 1948. Wandering Jews began returning to their homeland after being dispersed for nearly 2,000 years, just as God promised. The Lord your God will restore your fortunes and have compassion on you and gather you again from all the nations where he scattered you. He will bring you to the land that belonged to your fathers and you will take possession of it. Deuteronomy 30, 3-5 The eyes of the world are now focused upon Israel and its capital, Jerusalem, just as prophesied. Our Lord declared, Behold, I am about to make Jerusalem a cup of trembling to all the surrounding peoples. Zechariah 12, 1-2 Spiritual Forces of Wickedness The horrific massacre inflicted by Hamas on over 1,400 civilians on October 7th was the manifestation of Satan's relentless hatred for God and his chosen people. He ensnares people to do his will and cunningly uses his false religions to kill and destroy God's people. The devil has been a murderer from the beginning, and the whole world lies in his power. 1 John 5.19 The Origin of This Continuous Conflict Historically, this prolonged struggle in the Middle East has been between the Jewish descendants of Abraham through Isaac and the Arab descendants of Abraham through Ishmael. Genesis 17. Islam was formed out of Arab paganism and its roots can be traced back to Ishmael and Esau. The religion, founded by Muhammad in the late 6th century, is a socio-political religious system with a mission to convert the world into Islamic society governed by the laws of Allah. Not too long after the religion became established, the Muslims conquered the land of Israel in 637 AD. Who has the right to the land of Israel? Since 1948, the growing and never-ending conflict has been centered on who has the right to the land of Israel. The Jewish people believe they have a long-standing and exclusive right. Yet, Muslims believe that any land conquered in the name of Allah must remain in the possession of of Islam. The Jews know that God gave them the land as their everlasting possession. The title deed for the land is the inspired word of God. The Lord made a covenant with Abram saying, quote, to your descendants I have given this land from the river of Egypt as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, Genesis 15 verse 18. He declared, I will give to you and to your descendants after you the land where you live as a stranger, all the land of Canaan, as an everlasting possession, and I will be their God. Genesis 17 verse 8. There appears to be no human solution to this ongoing conflict over the rights to the land. However, there is a divine solution, but it will not be resolved until the King of Kings returns to set up his earthly kingdom from the throne of David in Jerusalem. Who are the Palestinians? In the second century, Roman Emperor Hadrian decided to punish the Jews by changing the name of Judea to Palestine. Yet this has nothing to do with the modern day Palestinians, who did not even exist at that time. After the conquest of the land by the British Empire in 1917, Many Arabs from neighboring countries made their way into the land of Israel as migrant workers. Years later, after Israel declared its independence in 1948, Arab armies invaded the land with the goal of eliminating every Jew. In the Six-Day War of 1967, Arab nations tried again to destroy Israel, but Israel miraculously prevailed and took the Golan Heights. Judea, Samaria, the Sinai Peninsula, and the Gaza Strip. All this to say there has never been a Palestinian state. 
a Palestinian language, or a Palestinian culture. Furthermore, no Arab state has ever had Jerusalem as a capital. The Quran never even mentions Jerusalem, yet the Bible cites it over 800 times. Palestinians as a people group were never mentioned until 75 years ago. Regrettably, these historic facts have been replaced with the Palestinian propaganda, which has been dispersed throughout Western media and academia alike. Hamas and the Gaza Strip The terrorist group Hamas that governs the Palestinians in the Gaza Strip is part of a regional alliance that includes Iran, Syria, and the group Hezbollah in Lebanon. It was founded in 1987 during an uprising against Israel's occupation of Gaza and the West Bank. Hamas was originally a branch of the Muslim Brotherhood and is called for the destruction of Israel. Israel gave control of the Gaza Strip to the Palestinians in 2005. There are two important propositions to consider as the ongoing conflict between Jews and Muslims continue. If Islam puts down her weapons, there will be no more terrorism. If Israel puts down her weapons, there will be no more Israel. The Prophetic Future for Israel The Jewish people will have to endure much more persecution and tribulation and tribulation in the years ahead. But our merciful God has a glorious future for those who will call upon him to be saved. Our Lord declares, Two-thirds shall be cut off and perish, and one-third shall be left alive. And I will put this third into the fire and refine them as one refined silver and test them as gold is tested. They will call upon my name and I will answer them. I will say, They are my people, and they will say, The Lord is my God. Zechariah 13, 8 through 9. This is the faithful remnant who will look upon the one they have pierced and say, Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. To God be all glory, honor, and praise, now and forever.